Welcome back to a new video, you beautiful bastards. We're gonna be going through a bench day, but I'm gonna teach you guys how to grow your chest. I have not some of the best chest genetics, but I've came a long way. I can send Drew a fucking before picture. I looked like a twerp, bro. It looked like there was no chance of me gaining muscle in the world. You know how some people you can just tell? Like, damn, if that motherfucker lifted, he would have some muscle. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, they got, like, the cap. Yeah. yeah. They're, like, those skinny dudes that got, like, cap delts uh, already and stuff. But I had none of that. It's just, like, trial and error stuff. But I can give you all the rundown on what worked best for me uh, and how I grew my chest. I mean, I'd say I have, like, C cup. Yeah, I'd say, like, C and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I got some good titty in there. We're going to get warmed up the bench, slam some free. I got the sour gummy. I brought it this time. This shit is gas. It just tastes like the trolley, is that what they're called? Yeah, yeah trolley gummies. Like the trolley gummies? Yeah. yeah. Them shits hit at the movies. I still need to see Avatar. Same. You haven't seen it? I haven't seen it either. We gotta go see it. Me and Drew are gonna be fucking neighbors, oh, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm moving again. We had a good opportunity to open up next to Drew. <laughs> so, it's pretty cool. If everything's good, we could even show it, like at the end of the yeah, video. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's really super good. modern, bro. Yeah. I feel like... When I walked up in there, I felt like I was on my demon arc. Dude, we went like there the like gaming videos with the concrete, you're gonna look bro, aesthetic as yeah. fuck. Yeah, <laughs> y'all motherfuckers will see. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah. That's a cool gym too. Yeah, we might be probably gonna film somewhere. Yeah, sure. yeah, definitely. I told him I I would just like get a bench, and then it has everything else. I already have a bar still sitting at my other home gym, and then we can just get a like a Thompson fat pad, like one of these. Code Monkey to save you some Mulan, huge, and Heel Mix. Shaker bottles. We actually sent the samples out, so you'll start to get samples of huge sent with your Code Monkey stickers. That's pretty sweet. Y'all motherfuckers get to dip your feet in the water a little bit. If you're kind of skeptical about buying the pre because of the big switch, you can try it for free when you get some healings, okay? Some people are asking the difference of Enraged in this one. This one has a lot of the pump formula, like Lyser Pump and all the citrulline and goodness, and it even has like the pink Himalayan salt. So it has all the pump formula. And the high stem one, I usually take it on leg day because I don't like to get huge, massive, fast Lyser Pump fucking tons of nutrients in my legs because that shit hurts when I'm squatting. So it has less of the pump formula in the other one and more on the stem. If you're like, Max, I want to get a pump on a bench day, but I want to have like that enraged in me, the high stem, you can mix <laughs> the pump serum. It's just a non-stem and it just has all the pump product. That's what I did yesterday, actually, for deadlift because I like that good pack pump. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I think it's fine. All right, so the first principle to building a big ass chest is mind muscle connection. You wanna be in tune with your muscles, you wanna feel it out, this kinda helps do that, it gets the blood pumping. I'm not really pre-exhausting or anything cause it's just a bar. Just getting the mind right, the body right, feeling it in the titties. Cause that is a good indication that you're doing a movement properly and you're feeling it in the right way. Cause in some movements like even an incline dumbbell press, other muscles can easily take over. It's right alongside your anterior delt, so your front delt can take over, your triceps can take over. So when your mind is in your chest, you're squeezing that chest and the weight's moving, then you know you're doing it properly. That's like a cue I like to keep in my head, is just squeezing your chest to get the weight up. Think of that, that'll help you a lot. And also retracting your shoulder blades with like pressing movements and stuff. Get your shoulders in a good position. The back arch isn't bad. You don't have to like go extreme or anything like powerlifting and shit. Would you say I have an extreme arch? No, you set up with an extreme arch, but I mean like that's yeah. what you set up. It's just to get my shoulders right, yeah. get my chest out there, make sure my titties are working, pressing that weight. But it just helps put all the pressure on your chest along with you keeping your mind in the muscle, okay? Classic, classic Arnold thinking. They were onto something back then. Mind muscle connection, bro. That helped me a lot with my back too, especially because you don't have a mirror to see your back working unless you like set up a fucking mirror when you do back workouts. I don't know. It's like, oh, make sure my back's fucking working right. <laughs> Just to see my chains jumping Valentino glisten, make your whole vision fuzzy Caught 
I'm saying, swing and leave your hoes such a blade. Tell us one more time how you fucking all these souls. Happy you in five years at the bar alone. Sad little man, so you blame it on us. No, you not a has been, you were never was. Turn around swift, and I'm kicking up the dust. Then I get the cash on my throne, I rust. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever done that way at the RPE. So that was a PR. Ooh. A little three repy. I think I'm gonna drop it down for the rest of the sets to 275. Make my form pretty and shit. But that's PR. All right, so another thing, you gotta look at the chest and what it consists of. There's an upper head and a lower head of the chest. The upper is the clavicle, um, so that's activated mostly with stuff that's an incline pressing movement, like an incline dumbbell press, for instance. You're working a lot of that upper clavicle head. And then there is the lower portion of the chest, which consists in like two separate parts, you could say, the sternal and the abdominal. That's activated with stuff like this. We're at more of a perpendicular pressing or like dumbbell presses or anything kind of like in this area. You want to target both. A good way to go about it is having a compound like bench or some type of flat pressing if you want to start with that. If you have a weaker chest, you can start with like incline, get really good at incline bench. That'll build you a fat upper chest. And then you can kind of use like isolation work and throw it in there. The thing that you want to remember is that more doesn't always equal more gains. If you're able to do like these bullshit ass 20 plus sets of chest in a given workout, I'm willing to bet you ain't going hard on your sets. You could even get away with two, three exercises, which I mostly do. And that's what's gotten me a bigger chest is focusing on those busting your ass with those and getting good quality sets. You just don't need to bullshit around and be in the gym for three hours. Get your sets done, quit lollygagging, and bust your ass in the gym, okay? Capiche? Capiche. <laughs> Super oversized tees, which I'm about to take off and re reveal the most majestic, almighty pump you've ever seen. What are these called? Uh, I don't remember, but they're fire. They're like the they're like little parachute pants that don't like get tighter at the bottom. On the 15th, code monkey, 15% off. If you want some drip, you're. in the, the lower chest now. I guess that's another good tip is you can even split up if you have two chest days in a given week, sort of attack like a different goal each chest day. One day you can do more incline pressing or even dumbbell pressing because that still works your clavicle. Like standing overhead press, that's like one of the best compounds besides the big three that you can do. So you do that and then you can do more decline presses and flat presses on the next day. You kind of get best of both worlds just so you're not kind of like doing the same thing every day. A little bit more variation because sometimes I low key get tired of bench pressing all the goddamn time, but I'm trying to get a better bench press overall. If you're just trying to build some muscle, don't be afraid to switch things up, split it up. Like when I was just doing a bodybuilding split, I would run like a hamstring day specific and a quad day specific. So I would do like RDLs that day, attack like straight leg deadlifts. And then the other day I would do like hack squats or some shit. So that's the best, gives, oh shit. Gives you some variety, gives you better rest in between those days. But I'm gonna do some dumbbell flat press and I'm gonna PR on this bitch cause I feel amazing.
Somebody please tell me if there's a contract they know not to involve me I roll with the niggas, I make all my money So how the fuck you supposed to tell me with hundreds? What is a thousand? What is a million? To someone that knows the price is real Sensation so with me, moving too quickly No future prices, this shit changing Oh yeah, give me that so easy, like it's some random Now you just do it and money they hand them Some get a check and go live in the hand Cause me, I'm out for going down All right, so PR on that. I don't know if it's a lifetime PR, but for the sake of programming, it's a program PR. I'm catching my breath, and then I'm hit a failure set. That means balls to the wall. My chest feels like it's gonna fall off the bone. I do not have one rep left in the tank at all. Okay. Hello. Throw. <laughs> They probably think they got voices in their head. Be like, punch him. Alrighty, so this bad boy, we're gonna go ahead and build some triceps because stronger triceps equals more weight on chest movements, then in a way gains. equals more gains. <laughs> yeah. So I had to throw on a little ropey. Uh, sometimes they make the single attachment ones where it's just like a single rope, like specifically. This is the two one, this one. Pause. This one. Pull that bad boy down. And then you use it one hand. Boom. Sit contraction. Once you get the rope, you kind of go like this. Make sure your arms straight up and down with your body. Like this. I got this one from JPG. Shout out JPG. Smart, handsome, sexy bastard. You go like this. Contract this way. Some of the best contractions I've ever gotten in my tricep came from this one. Just go like this, keep the elbow strict, keep it still. Just extend, baby, feel it in the tricep. Mind muscle. Three sets of 10, last set failure. I'm gonna do 15 kg. Proper burger, co. I've never had it before. We were just looking up food because we're both starving. Right, I got the big proper. All right. Still a little, still a little look in there. That's some juicy shit. I give a proper bite and a proper rating. Totally proper. At 8.5 out of 10. Oh, and I got this because I'm bulking, obviously. This is a raspberry shake. So I've never had a raspberry shake. That's good. That's good. That's better than the burger, I think. <laughs> Damn. I don't know if it's like just a Utah thing. They had some Utah burger on the menu, uh, but it's pretty good. You can try it? Yeah, it's a little drippy. I like the texture of the bun, though. Yeah. Gosh. Yes. A little bit too, like, drippy for me. I don't like my shit greasy. 7.8 out of 10. <laughs> <coughs> Enjoy stuff in balance though. I'd be eating the same thing pretty much every day. Uh, I'm still on like 4,500 calories. Ease up sometimes. Get you a shake or a burger. Calories in, calories out. They're just a little less nutrient dense. No such thing as unhealthy food, just less nutrient dense foods. There is foods that are bad for you though, like fucking Straight all those grease. seed oils and shit, but sometimes shit I just ball. need a burger, bruh. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, probably a pound heavier, full as fuck, and I'm gonna get a crazy ass leg pump tomorrow. We'll go to the new crib to show you around now. All right, this is the new crib. There's not 
much of a tour to really give. We should just have it set up next video. Yeah. And then we can give like an official house tour, but. This is the kitchen, so that's cool. And we have a Home Depot box collection. Of stuff. And then I gotta reset up the gaming room, but it's gonna look much cooler. I guess I can show the gaming room space. Yeah. Come on, Jojo. So this will be the, oh, so fucking sick. <laughs> Dude, it's so I fuck, nice. I love the concrete. Yeah. And the so view. my buckers will not be able to hear me. I am honestly surprised I didn't get any noise complaints at the other place because holy shit. Concrete everywhere, the view. Oh, it's gonna be so sick. We're on like the ninth floor. I'm gonna decorate all. Oh, I'm gonna have such a sick gaming room, bro. <laughs> Alrighty. But with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. We gotta get back to moving, putting together the gaming room tonight. If you did enjoy, please slap that like button in the ass for me. But until next time, Peace out, baby.